Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Comedia back with another Dokkan battle video. And in this video, I want to address something that has gotten a lot of people in the Dokkan community very, very excited. And I feel like people's expectations are being set a little bit too high and being blown out of proportion. And basically what I'm referring to is this post that was made on the official Dokkan Facebook page. I think sometime yesterday morning possibly. And it basically was an update to the Cell Bingo event telling us that uh, we cleared all the lines and we're getting all the rewards, which was awesome, right? But that wasn't the part that people zoned in on. That wasn't the part that people focused on and got people very excited. The thing that people really focused on and uh, started all this speculation and all this hype was the last bit of that post that said something about how the 300 million download celebration is not over yet. So stay tuned for the next big thing. And when people saw that, they, they freaking exploded. Like <laughs> the, the hype shot through the roof and people were like, yo, this, this is referring to a part three to the celebration. At least, I mean, based on all the posts I've seen over the past 24 hours, all the videos from other YouTubers speculating. And at this point, everything is speculation because nobody really knows exactly what Bandai has planned, right? But based on what I've seen, I think most people believe that they're referring to a part 3 to the 300 million download celebration just like part 2, just like part 1, a full-fledged third part to the celebration with new events, uh, new summable units or at least one new unit and also of course a lot of free-to-play stones because uh, you gotta have that, right? So uh, that seems to be a popular theory right now and as far as the banner goes, the summonable unit goes for part 3, I think a lot of people are hoping or speculating that it's going to be the LR Instant Transmission Goku that people wanted and we didn't get for part 2 and uh, Bandai was just using the LR Androids as bait to you know, take all our stones so that when part 3 rolls around and the real hype, the LR Instant Transmission Goku comes out, uh, we'd be forced to buy more stones which you know, makes sense from a business perspective and it totally sounds like something that Bandai would do but uh, yeah, I really, I really don't, don't see that like happening, guys. And um, before I go any further, okay, let me just be very clear that everything I say in this video is pure speculation. It's all my own personal opinion, and I could be totally wrong about everything that I say, right? Because nobody really knows, like I said, what's happening. Um, so yeah, I could be wrong. There could be a part three happening. There could be an instant transmission Goku um, LR that's being released, and uh, so on and so forth. But I honestly don't think the message is as big of a deal as people are making it out to be. Um, it's not as significant at the very least as like a part 3 announcement or anything like that. And I really think that it's Bandai's fault for not being more specific with the wording. And this has happened in the past too where um, Bandai being super vague in their messaging has caused a lot of speculation, a lot of uh, unwarranted hype or disappointment depending on what the context of the messaging was, right? And uh, like I said, I don't really see a part three happening now. There has been celebrations in the past. It's, it's very rare, but uh, at least one or two, I believe, celebrations in the past. Um, I don't remember exactly which ones now, but uh, yeah, celebrations where there were three parts, right? But um, I don't think that this celebration is getting a third part. And a big reason for that is just because of how big it's already been. You know, like the 300 million download celebration, um, as far as events go, as far as summonable units go, as far as free to play stones go, has already been one of the biggest celebrations in the history of Dokkan. In my opinion, it's uh, close to, if not on par, with the four year anniversary that we just got on Global and that JP obviously got earlier on in the year. And, um,. I just don't feel like they want to make it any bigger than that. And a part of that is because I think with most gacha games, including Dokkan, Legends, and so on and so forth, they want the uh, anniversaries every single year to be the marquee event, the most hyped celebration, the big thing that people look forward to, right? And uh, I don't necessarily see them wanting to overshadow these anniversaries with the download celebrations. I mean, obviously, download celebrations, still a huge deal, still major celebrations, but the way I see it, and like I said, this is my personal opinion, 
Uh, Bandai would want to keep the anniversaries as the marquee events, and if you add a third part to this download celebration, then the download celebration, the 300 million download celebration, would unquestionably be a bigger deal, um, be a more significant event than the uh, four-year anniversary was. Like I said, man, at this point, even with two parts, it's already pretty close. Some people even say that the 300 million download celebration was already is already bigger than the four-year anniversary, so take that as you will. But uh, adding a third part would definitely make that true, right? So uh, for that reason, since they most likely want to keep the four-year anniversary or just the anniversaries, that three-year, four-year, five-year, so on and so forth, as the big major celebration, um, I don't see the part three happening. But, you know, that's just speculation. That's just like something I've been thinking about, my personal opinion. And uh, you guys, of course, are free to disagree with that, right? But... Um, there's also the fact, um, I mean, this is just from a global player's perspective, and I know that uh, there's a mix of players out there. Some people play global, some people play JP, some people play both. So um, there's going to be different opinions about it as well. But from a global player's perspective, we have already received seven summonable LRs in a row, right? With no breaks in between. Um, yeah, yeah, no, seven in a row with no breaks at all. I was trying to think, like, was there a mini celebration in between? But... I don't think so. Yeah, seven Summo LRs. It started with the um, four year anniversary with the Super Saiyan Forest, right? We got LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku and LR Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. And then for part two of the celebration, we got LR Baby, LR GT Trio, and then the 300 million download celebration, we had LR Cell, LR Gohan, and then we got the LR Androids for part two. That's, that's eight. Seven. Seven in a row, guys. That is absolutely insane. I am personally just ready. To get the celebration over with and uh, move on to some regular Dokkan Fest celebrations, Dokkan Fest banners again because uh, I don't know about you guys but the last couple of banners definitely drained my wallet, drained my stone sources and um, I need some time. I need some time to recover and if you just think about it from the perspective of like, you know, Bandai not wanting to like release too much at once. I mean, I think they already have but uh, you know, going any further, I think would be too much, right? They, they might want to give the player base a little bit of a break, and um, there's a reason why, like, companies or gacha games don't really, you know, release, like, hype things over and over and over again, because eventually people get tired of it, right? So, releasing another LR for part 3, I think, would just be overkill, right? There's also the fact that we got the uh, V-Jump leak for the... Um, for the, I think it was Int, uh, transforming future Gohan, right, for a Tokon Fest. And, I mean, what's going to be happening with that? Is that going to be in addition to the LR Instant Transmission Goku? Or is, is that going to be the Tokon Fest for the part three? Like, instead of it being its own celebration, it's actually just the third part. But then, if that's the case, then is Global also getting this future Gohan as well then? Like, the only way I see the part three happening is if both Global and JP get this uh, transforming Gohan, and of course, I, I guess maybe Instant Transmission Goku as well. Is it like a Tool Tokan Fest with an LR and a Tokan uh, like a UR or something like that? Probably not. See, see, just for all these reasons that I just talked about, I just don't see this part three happening, guys. But let's talk about what I do think it's referring to. And honestly, I think there is something coming, but I don't think it's anywhere as big as people uh, are making it out to be it, right? So one possibility is that the message, like about you know the celebration not being over, is literally just referring to the world tournament that's coming up um, on uh, global. At least it, is JP getting a world tournament as well? I'm not 100% sure, but I know at the very least global is getting a world tournament uh, at the end of this week. And this next big thing and how the celebration isn't over could literally just be referring to this world tournament that's coming up. And I mean, it's not necessarily false, right? Like world tournaments are a pretty big deal considering uh, you get up to like 50 plus free stones from it. And it's like a whole weekend that people spend grinding or at least most, some people do. I do personally, but I know some people don't participate because I think it's too boring, which I agree with. Um, that's a topic for a whole other video because yeah, the world tournament is definitely in need of some kind of uh, change up, right? But like I said, we're not gonna talk about that in this video, but essentially uh, the message literally could be referring to the fact that we got the world tournament coming and you know, it's, it's the celebration's not over yet, man. We still got that going on, right? 
Um, or we could be getting some kind of extension or an additional social media campaign, right? We got sell bingo, maybe next is like sell, sell Jeopardy or uh, sell Wheel of Fortune. I don't really, I, I, I'm just making stuff up, but you know what I mean? Like it could just be another social media campaign, another Twitter, Twitter campaign or Facebook campaign, another joint campaign maybe between Global and JP that they haven't announced yet. That could also be what they're referring to, and that would be somewhat big if we get a good amount of stones from that, but not anywhere as big as like a part three would be, right? Um, there's also the possibility we could be getting a new unit, and um, instead of making like a full-fledged part three, it might be like a part two plus, right? Like a little bit of an add-on to the part two. And if that's the case, I don't necessarily see a summonable unit coming. I see maybe a free-to-play unit, like a free-to-play LR of some kind, maybe a prime battle, even though JP just got a new prime battle, so possibly a new friend summon LR, right? Because with the 300, with the, no, 250 million download celebration last year, we got the LR Great Saiyan Man 1 and 2. So maybe for this year, we'll get another summonable, uh, not summonable, but, well, I guess technically summonable, but friend summon LR, right? Like maybe a... Uh, Dr. Jero and Android 19, right? That'd be pretty cool. Or uh, something to that effect, maybe like continuing with the um, Androids theme, possibly. Uh, or maybe a new story event of some kind. Or, I mean, I see some people like talking about a new mode. Uh, I see the idea of co op being thrown around, and that is a huge, huge thing, guys. Co op would be a game changing mode, and I don't see them just like throwing it in as an add on to the celebration. So I don't think that's necessarily the case, but maybe another. Uh, game mode similar to like Infinite Dragon Ball History or something like that would be kind of cool. Maybe something unannounced like that. But uh, once again, I don't see a part three happening. And um, I don't know about you guys, but I am totally, totally okay with that. Now, before anybody gets mad at me for saying that, this is just based on my own personal experiences with this celebration. And uh, they haven't been the most positive. You guys have been watching my summoning videos over the past month. It's been kind of rough, man. I mean, we've had like little moments of gl glory here and there, little moments of luck here and there, but in general, it's been really, really bad. I plan to make a separate video just talking about my journey through the 300 million download celebration. And um, that's a separate video. Like I said, it's, it's going to be a rant uh, just about um, how this game has tested my, my will to continue playing it over the celebration. And it's definitely been the worst shaft I have ever experienced in my Dokkan career, my time playing Dokkan, and of course that's a personal thing, you know, it doesn't really affect you guys anyway, but just from a personal perspective, I'm good man, like I am ready to move on, I think the celebration has lasted long enough, I think we got a lot of free stones, which is awesome, I mean, I don't think, I know we got a lot of free stones, which is awesome, but uh, I think it's time to return to norm a little bit, right, like revert back to you know, the, the regular celebrations, um, and I'm excited for like a Namek Goku on Global, and uh, the future Gohan looks pretty cool as well for JP, and like, I think it's time that we revert back to the, the normal stuff, man, and instead of getting just like, big banner, big celebration, one after another. So, uh, that's just me, that's just me, and I'll talk more about that <laughs> in the video that I dedicate to that uh, whole, whole journey, that whole experience right there, but, um, I mean, that's pretty much all I gotta say, guys. I don't think that the message is necessarily referring to a third part to the celebration. I think it's talking about something fairly minor, like the World Tournament, or possibly... Um, oh, one thing I didn't mention is maybe the Step Up banner. Maybe they'll throw in like a, you know, five step, is it four or five step? I think it's five step, um, you know, guaranteed LR banner, right, for both versions. That'd be kind of cool as a little like send off for a great celebration overall. Um, I could definitely see that happening, but I don't see a completely new part to this celebration. I just think that it'll be uh, too much in addition to what we already had. Um, they don't, they probably don't want to overshadow, that's just speculation once again, they probably don't want to overshadow the anniversaries with the download celebrations and make the download celebration the marquee event, um, but I could be wrong about that as well. So. Uh, that's all I gotta say guys. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about all this. If you agree with me, like I said, that's awesome. But if you disagree with me, I'm totally okay with that. Let me know about your opinions then. Um, what you think is different from what I just talked about. 
And um, like I said, man, it's all speculation right now. Once more information comes out from Bandai or some leaks from the uh, you know data leakers, I will definitely definitely keep you guys posted with another video. So uh, if you guys want to stay tuned for that stuff, you want to see more videos about this, if more information comes out about a potential part three, then make sure you definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And also, if you like the video, guys, make sure to like the damn video. And yeah, I guess that's all I gotta say for today. Um, just for the time being, guys, don't get too hyped. All right, it's it, like keep your expectations under control, keep them at a at a reasonable level. Because if it turns out we don't get a part three to the celebration and we don't get a new LR, and uh, people got super super hyped for that then you're gonna be disappointed you're gonna be mad right so in order to not set yourself up for unnecessary disappointment i think it makes a lot of sense right now before we have any confirmation about a third part to keep those expectations fairly under control and uh, i'll let you guys know more once i know more as well so that's it guys thank you so much for watching uh, until next time hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic day i'm tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.